Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use TikTok to start a dropshipping business. So first, why TikTok? With TikTok dropshipping, you can start dropshipping with little to no money. There's no budget required. It's a good way for beginners to get in the dropshipping game without risk. Now for those of you who are doing paid ads, the starting budget I recommend is around $2,000. And for many of you who don't have that budget, TikTok dropshipping is the best way to really get into e-com. With TikTok, you're not spending any money on ads and the only money you're going to have to spend is the cost of the product and your Shopify subscription. So it's an easy way for beginners to get into dropshipping without risking any money. On top of that, with TikTok dropshipping, you can get high profit margins of 50 to 60%. That is no longer possible with paid ads. Back in the day when ad prices were cheap, it was very possible to get a 50% net profit. For those of you who run paid ads, most of you will be happy to get a profit margin in the range of 20 to 30%. So with organic TikTok, with TikTok dropshipping, you have the opportunity to have very high profit margins. TikTok has over 1 billion monthly active users and is rapidly growing. It's the fastest growing social media app in the world and even in 2023, it continues to boom. Their users are extremely engaged and over 90% of them use the app multiple times per day and you need to get in front of them. Right now, it's very easy to go viral on TikTok and it's the easiest platform to really grow a following. The TikTok algorithm cares about good content and not followers. So in contrast, let's talk about Instagram. If you wanted to start an Instagram page now and you wanted to do post content on there, for your content to go viral, they show your content to your followers first. If your followers like the content, then you can go viral. However, on TikTok, the algorithm does not use followers to go viral. If you have good content, the algorithm will show your post to a lot of people and you can get millions of views without having any followers. This is why TikTok is the most powerful social media platform right now to grow a following on. So the pre-launch strategy, how do you launch a, a TikTok dropshipping store? Before you launch on TikTok, you need to know which product you're gonna sell. And to do that, go through the TikTok product research video in the branding module, and that will teach you how to pick a winning product. Once you've picked a winning product, you need to create a personal TikTok account and add your profile picture and bio. On TikTok, you need to get 1,000 followers before you can post a link in bio. So in the beginning, you won't be able to post a link to your store. Next, order your product from Amazon, AliExpress, or CJ Dropshipping. In most cases, get your product from Amazon. With Prime Shipping, you can get your product within one to two days, and you should be able to start filming content instantly. However, if that's not possible, get it from AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping. After you've ordered your product, you wanna go ahead and create a content plan. A content plan is a list of all the content you're gonna create. Have multiple hooks, scripts, and scenes. To get ideas for content, I'll show you how to do that in a separate video, but for the most part, you wanna search your product name into TikTok and see what other people are doing. Then go ahead and create a list of, of content you're gonna film. And then once you've received the product, you wanna go ahead and produce your first 20 pieces of content. And if possible, you wanna film on the TikTok app. Usually, if you film on the TikTok app, the, the quality is best and the TikTok algorithm really pushes out your content more if they can see that it was natively filmed on the TikTok app. So I recommend filming all of your content on TikTok. Once you have your 20 pieces of initial content, you wanna go ahead and you wanna start posting your TikTok three to five times per day. You wanna leave at least two to three hours between each post. You don't wanna post all of your content at the same time. The best thing to do is to post your content whenever your audience is active. So that could be at 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. But you want to wait two to three hours between each individual post. 